week begins. So the church has 2,000 years. And then I took you from Genesis through the Bible to show you Bible chronology. Just to let you know, according to the Bible, where are we now? As far as God's concerned, where are we now? I showed you all those things to let you know where we are at. So the next major thing to happen on this earth, my brothers and sisters, is the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ. This is the next biggest thing that is about to happen. Now I understand that as that some Christians, some ministers, who are saying that the rapture is not imminent. It is not about to take place. In fact, some have said, oh, for another 100 years it's not going to happen. Another 50 years. Not... Well, remember, what did, what did Jesus tell us to do? He said we should live as people who are waiting for their master. And some have accused us of making God's people afraid by telling them the, about the rapture. That is ridiculous. God's real people, when they hear about the rapture, they rejoice. If you are afraid, when you hear about the rapture, it's because you're not living right. Anybody who's afraid when you hear the rapture, you're not living right. So what you have to do is repent and live right. Let no man deceive you. The time is short. Jesus is coming. These are all the signs. Jesus is coming. Don't let anybody deceive you. The time is short. Now, I said before, if you follow the chronology that I gave you from the scriptures, you would know why anybody who would have said Jesus would have come in 1978 would have been wrong because the calculations have been there and it didn't show that it could fall into uh, 1978 or 1982 and so on and so forth. I showed you why they were wrong. The reason they were wrong was because they never used Bible chronology. Find out. Whoever gave you this kind of information with detailed Bible chronology, whoever gave it to you, So if those who gave dates before that didn't work, didn't give you the chronology that you could prove from the scriptures, I gave it to you. I gave you all the information. If they didn't give that to you, then you cannot say that you hoped it to be right. It wasn't going to be right. Because it wasn't based on the timing of scripture. But I've showed these things to you. And I gave you the information in writing so that you could go back and do your own study. And see what you come up with. I've told you before, study. The Bible says to study. We are instructed to study. It's a study to show yourself approved of God. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Jesus is coming. The rapture is imminent. Let no man deceive you. 